What's up everyone, I'm Bakaba, and today I'll be covering my feedback on the D4 beta. I put a good amount of time into it, I got all three characters up to level 25, did a couple builds with each character, and have a couple, you know, criticisms, and a lot of good things I found as well. Um, overall, I did find it to be a very fun game, I enjoyed playing and could see myself putting a good amount of time and hours into it. I do have some big criticisms, where it seemed at, at times where... The game felt like an awkward stepchild between an ARPG and an MMO with some of the elements, especially with Seasons as a part of the game. The MMO features, other than the, the open world, will probably become more of a nuisance, um, especially things like the Altars of Lilith that will need to be farmed each season. It'd be nice if the map could show what altars have already been found, regardless of world tier or character. You don't have to refine them with each character in each world tier. Knowing which ones you've already clicked would be a nice quality of life thing. Um, a couple other general things that I have some, you know, criticism on. The UI is a little subpar. Um, personally, I would like to see numbers on my health and resource globes. The other thing I really just wasn't a big fan of was using the StarCraft cursor just seems wrong to me um, for your cursor in game. It sometimes it just kind of seemed a little bit small. It'd be nice to have cursor options. I would love to see the D2 cursor instead. Um, the other thing would be it'd be good to have a large overlay map that could be zoomed in and out with another button um, that could act as a large world map. I find myself clicking the tab button to see where I am in the world and then trying to move at the same time and moving the, the world map and getting hit. This It was just... It'd be nice to have that, you know, larger overlay map instead of simply relying on the mini map in the top corner. Another thing I found, and this is probably just a bug, I randomly wasn't able to exit from the eastern gate. Um, I would get to just over the drawbridge, and then I would just end up walking or running in place. It wasn't able to actually go. I'd end up going out one of the lower gates to get to where I was going. Vendors in general. Uh, it, just didn't seem like things scaled well. I think Macro Bio Boy summed things up really well by saying gold from selling items just doesn't scale compared to the cost to purchase the items or perform or perform vendor actions. You'd go to purchase an item, it'd be like twenty thousand gold for you know an item that really wasn't even good, um, not very good affixes or you know rolls on them. And it, when you go to sell an item, it was like okay, here's ten gold. Or a rare with you know really nice affixes on them so I, I think that you know needs a lot of work um, in terms of scaling I don't know that it's going to kind of balance out the further you get into the game the deeper you get but early on it just didn't scale well whatsoever speaking of scaling I think the world scale the level scaling in the open world needs a lot more information on how it works um, especially in parties you know, how does monster damage and health work when there's a level 4 pair with a higher level character? Um, just as one example. It seemed like some of the scaling was off in terms of how much health is being depleted by the higher level versus the lower level. And how that worked. The exception being strongholds. Where those strongholds had a m minimum area level to them. Um, so, like I said, the, the level scaling, I think more information on how that works. Um, when you're in a party group or a party setting, um, would just be very helpful information to the community. Very, you know, transparency at least. The big one, which I know everyone has been talking about, is the dungeons. They're just bad um, and honestly not replayable because they have the same layouts and same mechanics for every single dungeon. Um, D2, I think, had a much better system with the tile sets instead of having a static map. Um, if you are, if Diablo 4 is going to have static maps, please, please, please have more variability and different mechanics in the dungeons if you're going to have mechanics at all. Um, some of these dungeons can just be elites that have a chance to drop higher level item gear. Some end game gear um, without having to go through, you know, big boss fights. It also makes some of the dungeons more replayable and you know more incentivized to go play those dungeons. And I think um, Asmongold really summed it up really well in one of his videos, where you can use some of the mechanics like the um, the keys 
for the boxes to essentially bu um, buff the bosses and you know give the bosses a better chance to drop better gear or higher chance to drop better gear um, that way you can either choose to go do those mechanics or not itemization needs some fine tune some fine tuning uh, things like rares and legendaries you know fell from the sky might have been you know a beta thing that would have been you know good to know up front commons and rare commons and magics honestly i think need a lot of love uh, to make them worthwhile whether it's more sockets on commons or, or the magics having higher affix roll maximums given the fewer number of affixes on the magics compared to rares that would be something that would make them worthwhile of using um also commons should have some type of benefit to using them especially early on Otherwise, why have them at all uh, if they're just going to get thrown away the second, you know, a magic item comes or, you know, a rare. Having Whisper and Keys drop in the open world or from events, only being able to purchase them from the Purveyor of Curiosities just seems like a waste of obols. I'd rather use those for, you know, gambling gear, um, you know, get some endgame stuff or some progression stuff versus spending them on Whisper and Keys that honestly, those chests can drop garbage um, and not even be worthwhile at all. Otherwise, in terms of the, the really good things, I, I love the, the combat feel. Um, I like that, you know, the builds have viability um, to a degree. Some builds like the, you know, some characters like the Stork have a lot more optimization to them and a lot less reliant on on gear compared to things like the melee builds um, especially the barbarian if you have any more thoughts on you know what you liked or didn't like in the game um, let me know in the comments below so see you in the next one